Hi guys, another video. Uh, this is a 2004 uh, Renault Megane, and this car came to me because when you put the key on, uh, sorry, the card on, and you press the start button, it says that. And obviously, the car does not start. If I take it off, It says that. Uh, the steering lock, there's a, there's one here that is connected. Uh, the car came to me like this already, all dismantled. Uh, this is the second ECU, so we had a fault with the first ECU. Then he bought a second one, or the first second hand one. Uh, he put it in, the car started once and then went off. He never started again. So he thought he might got a faulty one, so he got another one. And obviously exactly the same thing. And the reason is because these ECUs, or these little modules, these steering locks, they are actually coded to the car. So once you put it on a car, uh, that's it. It's coded and, and, and will not start again. The only reason why it starts the first time is because when you put it on, and you turn the ignition on, it starts the car, and then it sends the code to the to the UHC and then because the code doesn't match once you turn off the engine that's it the engine will not start again the steering stays unlocked um, but uh, but that's it. it you you can't start the car anymore so I'm going to show you how to reutilize these modules so the first thing I've done was grind Slightly the top, sorry guys, slightly the top here. So basically this is one that is now open yet. So I've grind these tops here. So I could then pull the little bit of uh, metal from the casing that has been pushed in to keep it closed. So I've, I've grinded slightly the tops, see? So I could then pull it out. Okay, so this is the CU now opened, so obviously I'm going to try to show you here, so this belongs here, so the PCB obviously is in there, so you just slide this all out, then you take this cover off, and the PCB just obviously slides out. Now, what we're going to have to do here is, there's two ways to do this guys, one is um, copy the contents of the EP-ROM from the old steering lock, providing there's nothing wrong with uh, the data on it. Another way is just to uh, read the contents of these. Let's see what it is. There it is, right there. Of this 24C04, sorry guys, this is an ST. Read the contents and replace everything with uh, F. So I'll show on the computer in a minute what we're going to do. So the chip is already here. So I'll show you the thing in there. You can see it's been removed. It's now there. So the chip is now, the EP-ROM is now here. You can on this uh, adapter. And uh, I'm using Xprog to read the contents of the chip. So, uh, so that's it. So I've select, let me try to focus this. I've selected the right chip already, so I don't know if you can see that in the corner. 24C04. And now I'm going to read. Okay, so we have a problem here. Guys, sometimes these things happen. Uh, basically, was a, uh, the chip was still full of... Uh, uh, we're still full of uh, what you call it. I had a blank. Uh, it was full of flux, so that's the reason why it was not making contacts. Uh, so it's all cleaned now. I should have done that first, but so I'm going to show you that it's actually read already. But just to show you that it's reading, I'm going to read the chip again so you can see. 
there we go so this is the this is what it is so all we're gonna do now is just basically replace all this here Uh, with uh, the buffer with F's, okay, and we we'll press OK. And as you can see now, the whole chip is blank, okay. So we're gonna put everything back, and hopefully, when you turn the ignition on for the first time. The UHC, no, UCH, we'll see that is a blank steering lock and we'll just uh, recode the steering lock if, as if it's brand new and it's, it's been uh, um, matched for that UHC. Hopefully the LZ will work and, uh, and that's it. We're going to put everything together and we're going to go back on the car and see, see what happens next. So obviously... Right guys, before we do it, obviously we've changed the dam now. We're gonna have to write these back into the chip, which is over there. So we're gonna press the button right. And write file, yes. There we go. So we're gonna read the file again, just to make sure. Just gonna read the file and hopefully we'll come all with the Fs. There it is. All Fs. Let's gonna put everything back together and go back to the car. Alright guys, before we move on, I had a little of a trouble. Uh, when you take this cover off, you have a... Um, this piece here is separate, is this thing here, yeah? And that is spring-loaded, so once you take the cover, that comes up, and there is... I hope you can see that uh, white... See that bit of white plastic in there, right in there? Right, that piece of plastic is that, from the old one. It has a spring and a pin. So basically what happens is, once you take this off, and the steering locks, it won't come back again. It doesn't matter what you do, it won't come back, because you can't put this down again. Because the way is, is, is basically a safety feature. So what we need to do is, we, we, I've done it already. All you need to do is, is push that piece of white plastic. Just pull it off. Pull it off the, 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 with, the, the, with the spring and the pin. And obviously that will be that safety feature for the cover. You don't need it anyway. It's just for when it's opened. Uh, to take this off, it needs to be unlocked anyway. Because otherwise you can't take the bolt off. So um, so that's that's the way it is. So just I just thought it would be worth to to tell you this. Alright guys, uh, this is the moment of truth. Uh, right, I, I must just say that uh, I haven't closed the thing completely yet. I'm just gonna try it first. Um, I must say that the tempering feature. So this was the bit of plastic that comes off, as you see, it goes up and down. But once you open it, it won't go down again. And uh, because of that bit of, like I said, like I've shown you at the back, there's a tempering feature in there. But you need to take that off in order to release the whole thing. Uh, I've took the chance to actually open everything and I lubricate everything inside, make sure it lasts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it in and hopefully it will work. Right, the steering lock is now connected. Because it's not closed, uh, the top cover, it keeps coming out if I just leave it hanging. I'm going to put it here, right there, and uh, I'm going to put the key on and see what happens. So, press the card. There we go, guys. As you could see, first time, first turn of the key is working. Okay, now I'm going to leave it running, hopefully, uh, just to make sure if there's any data that needs to be recorded. It should be recorded by now, but what I'm going to do is, while well, I have can clip connected, is going to see if the code is now gone. 
Okay, was a code here for. Uh, it's gone already. Let me have a look. No, no faults. So, was a code here for the steering lock. Uh, the code is now gone. And. Uh, and that's it, guys. This is how you. This is how you do it. Uh, just to make sure it works. Uh, the service light is on because obviously the the car is all in bits. The switch on and off for the airbag on that side is disconnected and everything. So, but uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the car off, take the card. There we go. Hope hope you have seen it. So I'm going to put it on again. And there we go, guys. This is how we do it. Uh, I really hope this video has helped you. Um, uh, to be honest with you, it was now one of my best videos because I was really doing this as I would go along. Some of my videos, I, I actually do the job first and then I just go back to record the video. Um, this was a little bit more of uh, actually do as you as I as I was going along uh, either way guys I hope I really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, you know now to reutilize these uh, steering locks all you have to do is remove that uh, EEP ROM 24C04 uh, fill it all up with zeros uh, sorry with F's and that makes uh, the steering lock uh, a version steering lock a brand new like if it's brand new and that's it guys thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe please uh, like it uh, see you next time